Hey guys, so I just wanted to hop on here and make a short video um, kind of teaching you guys how to make your own cloth wipes at home. Right now with all the coronavirus stuff going on and the shortage in toilet paper, a lot of people are starting to head over to the baby aisle and grab um, baby wipes. And that could be a serious problem for moms because when you don't have baby wipes, you can't clean your baby's butt. Um, and yeah, I mean, that's just an issue for everyone who has to change a baby's diaper. So. Um, I was on Facebook earlier and I saw that a mom had to use like feminine hygiene wipes to clean her baby's butt. So that made me want to make a video and teach you guys what to do. So um, first and foremost, you're going to need to go over to Walmart. Um, I doubt that these are out um, because I don't know why anybody would want flower sack towels um, unless they see this video and want to make their own wipes. But so all you need to do is go to Walmart, go to the dish towel aisle, and then you're gonna grab flower sack towels. These are super cheap. Um, you get 10 big old towels for like $5.80. Um, so it's like $6 after tax, but I'm gonna show you how to get 120 cloth wipes out of this. So um, I've already broken into this and used this. I use this for my cloth diapers, but they are also really easy to use for cloth wipes. So um, this is what they look like. It's just a giant um, piece of cloth and you are just gonna go ahead and cut cloth wipes out of here. And I'm gonna go ahead and fold it and show you kind of where you wanna cut to get the most out. So I'm going to fold this into thirds first, like so. And obviously you're gonna cut it into thirds. And then I'm gonna fold it into half and to another half, so. Um, you're gonna get 12 wipes that are about this size. I'm not exactly sure how big that is, but if I had to eyeball it, it's probably like six by like eight inches or something like that. Um, so you're gonna go ahead and cut obviously. Um, and then once you get that, you're gonna get thin little pieces of flower sack towel, which are just enough to wipe your baby's butt. Um, whenever you're done, I'm going to see if I can position this down. So these are my cloth wipes that I have at my house. Um, they're super cute. They have cats, but whenever you're done, what you want to do is you kind of want to fold them like, um, they call it the Z fold. So let me move this stuff out of the way so you can see better. So all you do is you lay one out like so. And then you're gonna lay the other one over it so that they look like that. And you bring it down. And then you're gonna lay your other one on top. And then you're gonna bring it over. And then you're just gonna keep going. You kind of want them to like fold over each other like that, if that makes sense. So that way when you pull this one up, it will drag this one with it and then it'll keep going. So this is what it looks like from the side. Um, so when you're done with that, you're gonna um, go ahead and make your whole stack and then you're gonna go over to your sink um, if you'd like. Um, I have a uh, baby wipe warmer, so it's really easy to wet all of the wipes, put them in there and pull one through. Um, the, the top of the warmer is kind of like the heating source, so it, keeps that wipe hot, which then transfers the heat into the entire stack, so it's really nice. Um, so yeah, you can either um, take your big old stack and go to the sink and just wet it. I only use water. I don't think that it's necessary to add all of the fancy like cloth wipe bits. They call them bits. Um, they're like cubes of soap and oil. I don't think that that's necessary. Um, so I just use water. So it would be the equivalent to using water wipes, which are a really um, popular brand if you want like free and clear baby wipes. So you're gonna take all of your flower sack towel pieces. You're gonna um, take them to the sink. If you're gonna use a wipe warmer, you're gonna wet them um, completely. And then you're gonna kind of go like this and squeeze out all of the moisture so that they're not super wet. And then when you're done, you're gonna just stick them in your wipe warmer or your baby wipe box. I also have a baby wipe box. Um, that 
I had from a long time ago and it's just kind of those boxes that have the little button where the flap comes up and you pull the wipes through. You can also wet them and just put them in there and just let them be cold. I mean, it doesn't, my baby doesn't care either way, hot or cold, she doesn't care. Um, so yeah, or if you want, you don't even have to wet them. You can just cut them up, lay them in a stack and then whenever you're ready to use them, grab it, wet it with hot water and then um, use it on your baby. So as far as the poop and pee goes, um, it's really not that big of a deal, you guys. Um, I mean, I always say if your baby has a blowout, typically you just get the baby's clothes and you throw it in the washer. And so there's baby poop already in the washer. So, I mean, it's, it's not that big of a deal. If it bothers you that much, then just don't use them. I mean, I'm not really sure <laughs> what else to say about that. Um, but if you have a breastfed baby and they're completely breastfed, breastfed baby poop is water soluble. So you just throw it in the washer and it'll all kind of just magically disappear. Um, obviously if it's like extremely solid, you can just um, wipe the baby's butt, shake it off into the toilet or into um, like a trash bag and then um, just throw it in the washer. So pee is fine. It comes out of everything. Um, so yeah, I'm trying to think of any other tips that I could possibly have for you guys. But I don't, so that's pretty much it. Like I said, they are called flower sack towels. You can get them in a pack of 10 at Walmart and they're super easy to cut up and use. And um, you get 12, yeah, 12 little sheets from um, one big um, flower sack towel. So you'll get 120 wipes. Um, you just throw them in the washer uh, when you start running low, dry them, put them back into your stack and they're ready to go in. So yeah, um, if you find yourself struggling to find baby wipes and then you also decide to try to make your own baby wipes with paper towels, but you find that there's a shortage in paper towels, you do not need to panic. Um, just go to Walmart, grab the flower sack towels, cut them up and use them as baby wipes. So yeah, if you have any questions, just comment below. Um, if you think that there's a friend with a baby that would um, learn a lot from this video, go ahead and share it. Uh, yeah, let me know what you think. If you do get a try and you never know, you might like using cloth baby wipes better and saving all the money. So yeah, I will see you next time. Bye.